that started from a collaboration with the Latvian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and which was developed together with them and the partner institutions that participate in teaching the programme, that is to, to say our neighbours, SSE Riga, the University of Latvia, the Latvian Institute for International Affairs and the European Institute for Public Administration. The programme has developed step by step, but it has remained true to its original conception, which is a practical programme for acting officers, academics and NGOs in the beneficiary countries, which is at the same time taught at an academic quality level, which means that the participants gain from it both practical knowledge and also academic merit that they can carry with them into pursuing perhaps a master's programme if they should so wish. The programme has developed very much over the three sessions, the two that have been implemented and the one that we are now planning, but it has remained true to its original format, which is one of four modules, each containing three courses, one course in law, one course in economics, and one course in policy. And the core strength of the programme is the interrelationship between these interdisciplinary subjects, that the teaching in law is supported by and itself supports the teaching in economics and in uh, policy making. That includes in-class teaching on several days. It includes excursions to institutions such as the Parliament of Latvia, such as the National Bank of Latvia, such as the Ombudsman Institution in Latvia, and also international excursions with visits to Luxembourg and Brussels to meet with the EU institutions and also to meet with national institutions in other European countries. The uh, development of the programme has been supported greatly by the growing interest in an international sphere and we are therefore very proud that in this upcoming season we are supported not only by the Latvian government but also by the government of Luxembourg, the government of Sweden and the government of the United States and also by the fact that there are several additional countries that have expressed an interest that has not yet come to full fruit and therefore from a beginning that was with 15 participants to the upcoming season which will have approximately 30 participants we do not really see any end to where this can develop. Of course the programme has to grow and indeed it will grow in the autumn because we'll be introducing a new element of elective courses so as to allow the participants to an even higher degree to adjust the learning to their specific needs. This programme comes at a very interesting time in the Latvian history. Uh, this comes at a time where Latvia is now a mature member of the European Union and at the same time this year uh, acting as the President of the European Council. And therefore it's a very good occasion for Latvia to start giving back. And that good intention on the part of Latvia to get the programme running is what has carried over into the other parties joining the Luxembourg, the Swedish, the United States government and the other governments that have expressed an interest that might develop into future sponsorships.